Hello everyone! Welcome! My name is Joni and I'm the Star Crochet and I sell crochet clothing and accessories for men, women, children, and babies. Welcome to the Crochet Knit Vlog Week 11 and this is Day 1. Here I have only a crochet update and I left you guys off at the ankle warmers and I only had three completed I believe? Yes. I only had three completed and I had torn apart my men's sock that I had previously shown you all in week 10. So I have more ankle warmers to show you guys and I'll go ahead and get started with that and I have no knitting update. So here is the first, this is number panel number four and then <laughs> panel number five of the ankle warmers, number six, number seven. So I have three pairs and a half completed, which is seven panels. And that is the update I have so far. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is day two of the project update week 11 and I'll get right into it. So I only have a crochet update and I still don't have a knitting update. I have a knitting needles, a smaller knitting size, 3.75 millimeters that are, should arrive in the mail any day now. They have shipped yesterday, so I'm excited about that. And uh, I'm excited to get those knitting needles because they're not five millimeters that's what i use for the women's socks so that's what made them quite chunky and i just i'm excited to work with them so anyway to the crochet update uh i have these panels again for the ankle warmers and i have let's see three completed and I have a fourth one that is almost completed, but it's not quite a completed one. So it would have to go in the works in progress section. <laughs> so here's one. And again, I did um, a pair and a half. Two. See up close. That's two. This is three. And that's all of the completed ones I have. And this is four. This is how far along I got with the fourth ankle warmer. I need to do 20 of these color changes. So, so far I did, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. I need to do two more rows. So I'm not far at all. And that's how far I am on the crochet update on day two. Hey guys, what's up? This is day three of the project update and let's get started. So again, I have no knitting update, but I do have a crochet update and I'll show you all. So this is the 11th ankle warmer panel and this, it measures around 6 inches on the length and then 12, and 12 inches on the width. So and then this is the 12th ankle warmer panel. This is the 13th. And I'm actually coming close to an end on all of the, um, all of the yarn that I use for the ankle warmers. And I'll show you guys the yarn. I have one more skein left of this. And then I have, this is my last skein of the honey. So this is my 14th ankle warmer. And I'll show you guys up close. And I'll show you guys again. The yarn that I'm using for the ankle warmers is the skein tones. See, skein tones. And... That is what I have as an update. Hello everyone, welcome to day 
four of the update of week 11 and I have finished objects for you all to show you guys. They are ankle warmers. So I have completed all of the ankle warmers that I have been working on and I got down to, let's see, only one skein of the nutmeg and one skein of the honey of the skein tones yarn, lion brand. And I'm just going to save those. It's full skeins at only about like eight or 10% used. And I want to keep those for just scrap whenever I need to make like a prototype for something I've never made before. And I have scrap yarn. So I won't need to use, you know, intended yarn for the project of whichever I need to make. So it's, it's good use. So I'll show you guys the angle warmers that I have. I have seven pairs, so this is the first pair. And the way that it goes on, it's like this, and then you slip it over your foot onto your ankle, and it, if you're wearing a skirt like I am right now, I didn't mention that beforehand whenever I was talking about what this can go over, your ankles, of course. But if you're wearing a skirt, it can go below the skirt. And like I'm wearing a maxi skirt right now, so like it can go on the bottom of the skirt on your ankle and it's still visible like below the skirt. It's just, yeah, it, it, it'll still be visible. It's just, you know, if the skirt has like quite a flare, then it's okay. It's still visible. And you could wear like a winter boots or something or just like a boots with like a wedge to it. And you can wear these over the ankles and it'll look beautiful. So here's one pair. Here's the second pair. The third pair. The fourth pair. Fifth. I'll show you guys. Sixth pair. I don't want it to fall over. And the seventh pair. And so let me move these. There we go. So I have, you know, the seven pairs on already listed on both of my Etsy and my Squarespace. And I also have the newly added shipping information on my uh, Etsy and Squarespace as well. So you can pre preview your shipping whenever that feature is available, which will come soon on Etsy. And advanced shipping is available on Squarespace. Uh, the new listing of the ankle warmers will be in the description box below, so it will already be ready by the time you're watching this video. And I do have a work in progress right now that I am working on. I started a new project, and the new project is... <laughs> I keep trying to, like, find the appropriate name for it, but it's just like, I don't know. Is that correct? I don't know. So, it's, um, cropped sleeves. It's a crop top with sleeves. I don't think calling it a crop top is correct because I would have to see the full length of crop top with sleeves and that's just too long of a title. So um, cropped sleeves, would that be correct? I mean that's just what I would title it anyway. So Anyway, I'll show you guys what I've started so far. I'm using the color navy blue. It looks purple, I know, but it's it's navy blue. <laughs> it's actually, yeah, it's actually navy blue. It's, it's not purple. So I'm starting with this piece, and it looks like this right now because it is going to be a size extra small. I, uh, I intend to make the sizes extra small, small, medium, large hopefully extra large. We'll see. I hope I have enough yarn for that. I, I always run into that situation where I worry if I have enough yarn for that, but we'll see. I might be able to have enough yarn. And I just thought of it in detail to give it. Okay. So the way that I am creating this right here, this is piece panel one. And this is the torso panel. 
the way that I am creating this is the same way that I created the mesh tops, the unisex mesh tops. And this is going to be women's cropped sleeves. It just feels weird saying that, but anyway, just uh, the cropped sleeves part. It fe feels strange. So anyway, this is the front or the back torso panel. And then I have the second torso panel to create of the same exact size like this, following the same way that I decreased going up on this side and this side. And then I have to create the sleeves panels. And then I got to do one single crochet right here all along and then one single crochet along right here and then same on the sleeves on the same areas and then I got to sew it together so and then I got to create um like a little section to single crochet to go around the uh, neck width area and it is going to be use the colors navy blue, which is this right here, and the color aqua. So that is what I intend on using. That is the colors I plan on using for this. No more colors, just aqua and navy blue. And I hope to use those sizes up to extra large, extra small to extra large. And if I am not able to, then I do apologize. I try to plan accordingly with the sizes that I plan on um, making. I try to make a wide variety of sizes, but I also try not to get too tired of the projects I'm working on at the same time. So that's why I just try to create what I can with what I can mentally handle. Because if something gets very old very fast, then I will have to halt what I'm doing and move on with the projects so that way I just it doesn't like because you know I'm a machine and so it's like if something was like stuck in the machine how it can't you know and so in order for something to continue to move forward yeah it has to stop what it's doing and do something else if it's jammed so That is the update I have for today. Hey guys, it's day five of the project update of week 11. And I'll show you guys what I have. I have both a crochet update and a knitting update. So let's get started. So I have here the first panel of the extra small cropped sleeves. <laughs> Um, cropped sleeve uh, project. So yes, this is um, the front panel and then I'm also working on a back panel. So this is what it looks like and this will be the whole section. I do want to add a section down here for the effect of like as if it has a drawstring in it but it doesn't so I want to add the illusion of that. And then I got to add the aqua on the top parts where the sleeves go. So I have yet to do that, but I have been in the mood to knit lately. So that's, that's what I've been doing lately. So, and then the torso. And I also need to add, because I started in the bottom and then I worked my way up. So I also need to add on this bottom section right here the illusion as well of the drawstring and what I like to do at the bottom of this right here all throughout this I would like to have a piece of yarn go along the whole tor um, the whole bust line area the bottom of the bust line area that should be where it's about whenever I am completed with this piece right here is to have a piece of yarn go all through it and then like kind of like cinch up the um this right here so that way i can make it like a little bit it's hard to explain right now but like say okay i'll show you guys 
I have to have this upside down. So it's upside down right now. A piece of yarn goes through all of it. I get to have it bundled up like this as tight as I can if I want to. I can have it look like that or I can have it look like this. So I want to have it measure up to, um, it should be 32 inches is extra small, I believe. So I want this bottom to fit 32 inches. Exactly. 32 inches exactly, sorry. And <laughs> like, what is she talking to me? What? How does she know? Um, so, and that is my crochet update and my knitting update. I got new knitting needles and I'll show you guys a, uh, share with you guys a little story about these. So I received these on Sunday actually and I didn't know until I looked at the package tracking on Monday and I um yeah so I looked at the tracking and then UPS was like yeah we delivered on Sunday and I was like mm. So then I looked outside and there it is on the side of the, on the ground. It was not on the stuff, so it was not on the uh, front door. No, it was on the ground on the side. So I was like, oh, gosh. So at least uh, nobody could see it that, at that point. So I was happy about that. And I want to show you guys the um, di diameter millimeters. This is a 3.75 millimeters. I love it. It's blue. <laughs> I once had, I once went to a restaurant and I was in the waiting section because we had to wait for our table, my sister and I, and one guy, he pointed behind, towards me, he was pointed behind him and he was like, and she's blue. And I was like, mm hmm. How's he know? <laughs> so I thought that was really funny. So anyway, this is the sock that I'm working on. <laughs> this is the sock that I'm working on. And um, it's a men's sock. And it's going really well. I like how much tighter these stitches are. It doesn't look as bulky. It looks really, really nice. And that's the inside. Hello. And this is the other side. So you can see even the stitches are smaller too. And this is the colorway. I always forget the colorway name of this one. I keep forgetting the colorway name. I'll have to put it in the words right here. You know, right here. There we go. And um, so that's the colorway of this. And then I want to use, I saved this yarn right here for the heel section. And this will also be the toe section. It might be different colors when it comes to the heel section and toe section, but that's okay. This is the colorway Tranquil. I do remember that one. I'm trying to remember this colorway at the top of my head, but I can't. That's okay though, right? <laughs> so this is what I have so far. I'm at the bottom of the cuff and I need to follow what I followed last time when I had the five point millimeter, five millimeter um, needles. That's what I used for the women's socks. So it looks really bulky. Next time I make women's socks, I'm going to use these needles right here. 3.5 millimeters and so I'm at the bottom of the cuff and I should be done I want to do about 4.5 inches possibly of the cuff possibly four I'm not, I'm not certain I'm not sure and yeah this is just it's a redo of a prototype because I am now at a gauge of this sock that I am comfortable with using. And then 
I gotta follow the measurements I first followed when I created the first men's sock that I had to frog all the way. So I don't remember the measurements off the top of my head, but I have it written down right there in front of me. It's right there in front of me. So um, I have a whole binder of patterns that I have created. And so it's right there staring at me. So <laughs> that is the update I have for today. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, this is day six of the project update, week 11. And I have both a crochet update and a knit update as well. So let's start with the crochet update. I have this panel right here, which is the torso panel of the Craft Sleeves Project Size Extra Small. And so this is torso panel one. I was already able to add the stitching alongside here and the stitching alongside here with the aqua and then the drawstring illusion on the bottom. The illusion part didn't quite work as well as I wanted it to because of how I started with the beginning row stitches of the bottom and so it's a wider of a gap of stitches not holes but stitches because it's a thick base whenever I started with the stitches that I started with and I started with foundation single crochets so it's a little bit thicker whenever uh, creating the stitches so I'll show you guys up close here what I'm talking about and it looks like um like a small fence you know what I mean <laughs> So, like stitches or something, that's what it also looks like. So, it kind of, I kind of failed at the illusion part of the um, drawstring, but it's okay. I still like the way it looks. So it has like some stitches on the bottom part, which is, it, it works still. I like it still, so that's, that's alright, right? my bangs. Some of my bangs right now are at the annoying part of my hair because it's, I'll show you guys, it's at this length and if I have it out like this, it doesn't look good. Because think about if I don't have all this hair, I'll show you guys, I just have this hair, that, no, that's, that's not okay. So I'm trying to hide my bangs right now for the moment because it's at that annoying length right now. So, <laughs> I'm trying to grow them out, yeah. So, anyway, to the second uh, torso panel, I did the same thing here. I did the, well, I would call it stitches illusion now, right? <laughs> stitches illusion on the bottom, and I did the stitching, the hand stitching on the arm hold depth and the second arm hold depth. And that is the second torso panel. And then I already started on the sleeve. So I'm making the sleeve 17 inches. And so I started like this. I started at the top. I'll show you guys the full thing. Let me just get to a stopping point with this crochet. I had two loops on the crochet hook so I had to make it to where I had one loop on the crochet hook and then I can pull the stitch and the yarn won't fall apart. So, so right here is the sleeve. Do you see what I'm kind of doing here? I created a puff Puffer, puffy part right here on the bottom near the cuff and then I'm creating a cuff at the wrist section and then I have this part open right here all along the arm because all I need to do is just sew together this section and then whenever I'm done with sewing together or oh, before I even sew the section I need to stitch these parts right here is when I need to decrease go up like that to create the arm panel of the arm hold depth section. And then I will need to do the same stitching I did here 
the aqua. I will need to do it again with the aqua once I create the decrease section on these two parts right here. So that is where I'm at, and I'll show you guys again in detail of what I have here. And it's navy blue, it's not purple. <laughs> And the cuff is a little bit long because I just want to make it look different. I don't want it to make it look like the same cuff, the same puff, puffy sleeve, and then the same cuff as everyone else does. I gotta make it look unique in my own way, right? And so this is this is what it looks like right here. And this section right here is wider, a lot wider than this section right here. This section right here is just going to be fitted for the extra small arm area. And this part right here will be about at the armpit area. And then when I go up like that, that's when it'll fall on the shoulder section. And so that is the crochet section that I have. And with the knitting that I have completed, not completed, sorry, with the knitting that I have done, my hair is still wearing a show. That's not okay. I need to get hair clips, but anyway. <laughs> so with the knitting that I have, I have a good bit um, completed. So I'll show you guys. Doesn't this look a lot better? And I already showed you guys, right? The of close millimeter of the 3.5 yeah 3.5 millimeter so that's the needles that I'm using and doesn't this look a lot better the thickness the gauge everything about it and I think I remember the colorway of this blue again it's harmony I know I forgot a lot in the past but I remember it now and so this section right here is tranquil and I'm just going to go with the flow of whatever colors it spits out at me. It's, you know, a different types of colors that it gives me. And the colors are red, blue, purple, green. So it's all neutral colors. It's all unisex colors. And so I figured I would just stick it at the heel and the toe section as well. So I have a long cuff right here, and yes, this is still the prototype, but I am getting closer and closer to finishing this prototype. I am about halfway done. And then I have the heel section, the heel turn, and the gusset section already completed, and now I'm on the foot section. And I want to show you guys up close these stitches. It's so beautiful, and I love working with the smaller stitches. Um, I don't have the woman's sock to show you all for comp comparison because I am blocking the woman's socks but for continuation with the woman's socks in the second cycle after I complete these men's socks it will be with this gauge because this is a much better gauge to work with and that is the update that I have for today Hey guys, welcome to day 7, the final day of week 11 of the crochet knit vlog. <laughs> I was thinking it was the podcast for a second, but I was like, no, I did that yesterday. It's the vlog today. So I'll show you guys an update of what I have. I only have a crochet update, not a knit update, but I will be doing some knitting after I'm done with this video right here. Okay, I have... I gotta cut this off right here, the little string right here, the yarn. So anyway, this is the first completed sleeve panel of size extra small of the cropped sleeves. And it is complete. It has the two edges, the two armhole guts stitched with aqua. And I had turned this inside out after I completed this section right here to make sure that the stitch that I sewn this two together with was in the inside. So after I completed it, I turned it inside out and it looks like this now. And I am on the second arm, second sleeve panel. And I did the same thing 
I'll show you guys first where I'm at. So I have the length, I have the cuff, and then I ended up doing the same thing with this cuff right here. Turned it inside out, and that's what I just finished with on this piece right here. And then I am creating right now the decrease section going up this way, and then I will need to stitch the aqua right here and the aqua right here. And then I will need to stitch together the sleeve that is in half right now. This part right here I'll need to sew together. And again, I'll need to put put that inside out, sew it together, and then put it back right side in. And that is the update that I have for today. Thank you. And if you have made it this far in the video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell so you're always notified of all the videos that I create every Thursday and Friday. And Share with your friends and your family, your colleagues of my business, my vlogs, my podcasts, my listings, and thank you for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.